What's going on? It's your boy Ted Stacks back with another gameplay video. A um, little bit of uh, Street Fighter footage that I um I posted on my stream, but I, I just want to talk about the um, Sandy Blend situation. I know my channel is a uh, gameplay centered, but um being a um you know black male, I'm actually f that's from uh, Baltimore. I'm actually from Baltimore City, so I know you know I I, I have the right to talk about you know um, the situation with police especially because I, I'm I live in a black city and um and um we have black people in our police department and um you know it, it's been a you know uh, um a really big um you know problem in, within our community but um seeing the situation man it, it's just it's kind of it's, it's just sickening you know I'm I'm 23 you know, and I can, you know, I'm on a cusp, you know, starting my life. And I can only imagine me going to a job interview, being pulled over, you know, and being, you know, if you look at the video, she was actually being, um, you know, kind of baited, you know. She knew her rights, you know. If you look at, you know, the way he said, put a cigarette out. Like, when has it ever been illegal to, you know, to not smoke a cigarette in your car, like, it's crazy, and for her, like for you to not, you know, what I'm saying, for you to actually, you know, speak up and say, "Oh no, like why am I doing that? It's a problem." Like I, you know, I emasculated you, so now you're gonna, you know, try to get, pull me out of my car and arrest me, and don't even say what you, what I'm being arrested for, not even being read my my Miranda rights. I'm a taxpaying citizen. Like why are you even doing this? And the crazy thing is, if you read the comment sections of videos, people will say, "Oh." Um, why does she speak up? Why is she, she should have just been quiet. Black women always, you know, um, run their mouth. And I'm not being, you know, a simp or nothing like that. You know, what's wrong is wrong, what's right is right. Like, if you have a brain, you can clearly see that it, there was a problem. And he, the police officer, wasn't following protocol. Like, anybody with a brain, like, let's, let's, put, a, let's put away our feelings towards, you know, the opposite sex, sex and using our past experiences to skew the facts at hand. Like, it's, it's, there's a problem going on. And you see so many celebrities jumping on this topic. Uh, I've seen a um, post with, um, uh, just in general, you know, you know, when things like this happen, we use the Black Lives Matter, you know, slogan. And I saw Stephen A. Smith um, talk about this particular um, incident. And he was supporting um, Mayor uh, Martin O'Malley on his belief saying all lives matter. And he was being booed. And he defended his stance. That makes sense. You know, I understand why he, you know, he, he said what he said. And, um, cause all lives matter. He's a presidential candidate. Like, you know, he represents the whole people, not just one set of people. But when we use that, 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 uh, statement, black lives matter, it's, it's in relation to the dominant, um, demographic because white lives obviously, obviously do matter. They are treated different. And, and until, you know, all lives matter, I mean, until, uh, black lives matter, all lives won't matter. You know, you understand what I'm saying? So let me say it again. Until black lives matter, all lives will matter. So that's, that's you know, that, and if you look into the case, you know, saying, you know, she, she hung herself and oh, he had marijuana in her system. When has marijuana ever made you kill yourself? When have you ever been suicidal on marijuana? It's crazy because you have... You know, they're legalizing marijuana in so many different states. People are becoming profitable, mostly white people. They're using that as, you know, as a form of prosperity. But yet, minorities have, are still being criminalized and using that against us, you know, to this day. Like, how can you, you know, make money off a product? And at the same time, there's a whole sect of people being criminalized, going to jail, paying fine money and wasting our tax dollars on imprisonment over something like that. And we still find that, you know, as a form of punishment to justify a murder. Like, it's crazy. Like, how our market is, man. It's crazy. And, um... It's just wild saying all this, you know, as a, you know, a, a young, you know, man growing up and, you know, this particular society, like, I can, you know, 
I'm able to rationalize certain things, but not everybody thinks the way I think. There's people my age, you know what I'm saying, who's definitely going to start turning up. Like, because, you know, all the marching, that's, I understand this purpose, but, like, my forefathers that marched, you know, they didn't, they, they didn't march already. Like, you know, we passed that. Like, back then, you know, it was a lot of, you know, it was still fresh in slavery. We weren't able to look back at a different generation to see the consequences of our actions. You know, it was, it was a first for everything. We didn't been through this already. We already know what's going to happen. Like, it's no point of waiting and saying, oh, they're going to do. We already know what, what's going to happen. You know how they're going to treat the situation. We need to start taking action as a community and evoke change. And it's marching, begging for crumbs is not going to be that solution. Like, we have to start, you know, being united. And I don't mean this in a racist way. Like, you know, oh, we got to, like, you know, sec necessarily segregate ourselves for white people. It's just that we have to be more united as like-minded individuals. If you feel the same way I feel, you have to be vocal about it. If you're white and you see injustice, injustice happening, you have to be, you have to speak on it because silence is worse as as as, as doing the the um the dirty action you know if i'm if i if i see a racist doing something to a, a minority and i don't say nothing about it you just as worse as the racist and this needs to happen on a global scale for it to really for you to really see change like if you're going to sit there and you know sit on the wayside and be like i'm not racist but yet you don't help you know your, your neighbor like you know it's supposed to be a, a christian neighbor i mean christian country you know treat thy neighbor as thyself like how how is that, you know, how is that possible, like, you know, and it's just, it's just a crazy world, crazy time we're living in right now, and, you know, thank God for social media and you, and outlets like YouTube, where you can express your mind and link with like-minded like mind, like individuals, so, I know I went on a little bit of a rant, like I said, this is a gaming channel, primarily, it's a new channel, and, but, um, whenever topics like these come up, you know, I, ha I have an itch to talk about them, and I feel like it needs to be spoken on, especially, you know, me coming from where I come from, seeing my experiences, you know, that's what makes me unique, and hopefully you guys can, you know, connect and, you know, tell me some of your experiences or how you feel about the situation and what you think about, you know, uh, what's going on, man. It's, it's crazy out here. They even talking about, you know, <clears throat> maybe she already died, um... And, and lock up. And if you look at the picture, you know, with the, you know, with the color of the the floor matches the back of the back brick of the, the mug shot. So it's just a lot going on, man. It's just it's just going crazy right now. But um, tell me how you feel in the comment section. You know, do you you know do you do you believe she was at fault? Um, do you not believe she was at fault? Do you uh, just how, how, how do you feel about the situation? Just express yourself in the comment section. All right, till next time.